Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to review the case presented on the picture. A young man came to our clinic, and 10 days ago he had oral sex. After that, approximately on the next day, reddening started on his glands penis. Discharges started from penis, this is presented on the picture. He got scared and he didn't do any analysis. He started to wash urethra intensively. He started to wash glands penis intensively by miramistine. As a result of that, these reddenings increased. Burning and itch in the canal started to increase. And after that he realized that this should be stopped. So he came to the clinic after some time. So smear for inflammation or smear for flora was taken and leukocytes of 30 to 40 within a visual field were found there. And then analysis for sexually transmitted infections were taken. They were all negative and culture tests from gland penis were taken and from the canal and bacteria of Klebsiella and Streptococcus were found there in concentration of 10 to 5th and 10 to 7th power. As a result of that, a conclusion was made that this is bacterial balanopostitis and bacterial urethritis that were induced by above mentioned bacteria. Probably due to oral sex there was an insemination of genital urinary organs of this young man by the bacteria. Maybe one of them was there before and the second one joined it, thus inducing some inflammation. Probably both bacteria infected genital urinary tract at the same time. This happens quite often recently, when there are no sexually transmitted infections, but due to disorder of dysbacteriosis, disorder of bacteria leading to dysbacteriosis, such informations happen. Patients often do not consult a doctor, they wash themselves by miramistine and broadly advertised medications. Sometimes they even take antibiotics, however this is done without their sensitivity. Think about the bacteria that constantly live in us, how used they are to antibiotics that you take yourself, and without it you can only make the process chronic, and later on this induces bacterial prostatitis in men, etc. Even though these are not sexually transmitted infections, they still induce quite unpleasant consequences. So if you have some reddening on glands penis, itch in the canal, etc., then you shouldn't do self-treatment. You shouldn't wash all your body with miramistine. Particularly, you shouldn't do it often, as miramistine is a medication for emergency prophylaxis. Basically, it is for a single use on genitals, for multiple burns with which the patients often come with. For the beginning, analysis should be done to understand what it is, and only then you should treat. Or you should first do analysis and only then wash yourself by miramistine, if you want that, while we wait for analysis and understand that soon we will we'll get a true diagnosis. If there are any reddenings, burning and each in the area of sexual organs, you can consult the neurologists of our paid medical center of Dermatov Neurologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of different infections of sexual organs. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.